Hi everybody, thanks for coming. This is our basic baby wearing instructions. It's gonna be basically what happens at MommyCon, but a little bit different. We're trying something new this time that we're gonna start doing in all of the um, events. So I'm gonna start a little bit with the safety stuff and then we're gonna go into the different types of carriers and how those carriers are worn. We're not gonna do all the types of carries because that would just take a bajillion years. So we're only gonna do about one or two carries with each different type. If you need extra instruction, you can come ask me your exit um, if you need some help afterwards. So for the safety thing, I like to do it with the song Head, Shoulder, Knees, and Toes because it's really easy to remember. Sometimes I have to do it in my head, the song, because I forget which one's next. But well, hopefully I can do it all at once without remembering what the song is. Okay, so for the head, we always want to make sure that the head is visible and kissable. A lot of you are baby wearers, so this might be old information to you, but for those who don't know it, it's good to, have to know all of this good safety information. So you always want to make sure the baby's head is visible and kissable. As you can see, it's up high. You don't want the baby all the way down here. If you have to bend over to kiss your baby, they're too far down. So you want to make sure they're comfortable right in this area. The shoulders. We always want to make sure that the shoulders are squared off on your body. We don't really recommend the baby be in a cradle carry because of the problems it can cause if the baby's not properly positioned. So we want to make sure that only in a cradle carry that you're only doing it when you're going to be nursing. Otherwise, we want to have baby up against your chest so that their shoulders are square against you like Exa has with Mr. Monkey. <laughs> Knees. We want to make sure the knees are above the hips. That's the proper positioning that we really like to see. Um, some, of, some carriers don't give that grade of support that way, but it's really ideal for baby to be, for the carrier to go from knee to knee and for them to be in this M position. And he's not really, as you can see, it's an M. Toes, we always want to make sure the toes are below the head. That seems pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> but there have been carriers out there which have been recalled, but they have had the toes are way up here. They were called bag slings, so baby was literally like this in them. <laughs> and it hung all the way down here. So not only were their toes above their head, but their, their chin was going to their chest, which can obstruct their airway and cause oxygen deprivation, which obviously we don't want to happen. Eyes. <laughs> Eyes, we always want to make sure that you can see your baby. Even in a back carry, you want to make sure that you can glance over your shoulder and see your baby's head. You don't want to have them so low that you have to really look to see them. They, you need to have them visible so that you can make sure that you can hear them breathing and that they're properly in their carry. Ears. Ears is basically what I said before. You want to make sure you can always hear your baby, make sure you can hear their breathing and that they are breathing. <laughs> So that's really important that you can always hear them, even in a back carry, you can just listen, you can hear them breathing in the back. Eyes and, or nose and mouth are basically the same thing. You always want to make sure that baby can breathe. <laughs> Don't have baby smashed into your boobs. You want them to have their head to the side so that they have good airflow. You don't want the carrier to cover baby all the way, so you don't want them up like that. You want to make sure that their head has the airflow that they can get from the outside and you don't want to have make sure that they're getting smothered in there. So now we're going to go over the different types of carriers and how to wear them. We're going to start with ring sling slash pouch. Um, pouches are kind of a specialized carrier. There's only a couple makers like the hot sling who make the adjustable size. Otherwise, they're pretty sized to you. So they're not going to be a carrier that you're going to, you're going to share between your husband unless you're the same size. So these are really great though for quick in and out trips. If you want something that you can throw in your diaper bag that's not gonna take up any space at all, these are the perfect carrier. They go down really small and there's a bunch of different people that make them. This is a hot sling. Um, and the adjustable ones are all different. This one particularly has these little things here that hold on. Whereas other ones have snaps or zippers. This is a pretty neat design. This is the new hot sling design, which is really cool. They pull really small. They do. They great. pull really small. And if this particular one, um, they say that it one size pretty much fits all. It does go pretty big and it does go pretty small. As you can see, it fits eggs are really good and she's really tiny, so it's really hard to get carriers that fit her well. And you can do side, hip, front. Um, you can nurse in it. They're really great. I like them for, for quick in and outs. They also make winter ones that are fleece and summer ones, um, which are water carriers. You can put the water in. They're really nice. Another thing about these too is 
if you do finally find one that's the right fit for you, it might be your favorite carrier. And a lot of people will say like pouches, they're not supportive. It's not true. It's that you have to get one that's the right size. You do. It's like it's my son, he's huge. He's like over 30 pounds, 36 inches. And I feel so supported in, you know, like a hot sling pouch as I do in an SSC or a Maytai when I finally found the right size. So this is a ring sling. It's a very basic design. There's a bajillion and one different people who make them. They all have different styles of shoulders, different fabrics. Um, you want to make sure the rings are the most important thing with ring slings. If you're buying one from, say, Etsy or eBay, you want to make sure that the rings, you can see here, these are sling rings. Um, these have, there's no weld. They're a solid piece. You want to make sure that there's no welding. Um, they can separate. So craft rings from Michaels are not okay to use. You want to make sure you're buying actual rings. Um, sling rings, they're not expensive. They're like five bucks, I think, for two. So if you're looking for them to do make one yourself or to even use it with wrapping, they're really cheap. So this is basically the tummy to tummy carry with the ring sling. The easiest way that I found to do it is you're gonna, when you do it, you put baby over your shoulder like you're gonna burp them. Maybe over the shoulder, drop their legs in, pull them out the bottom, settle them in, get a good nice seat, and then tighten it up snug. So baby monkey is in there in there right. Um, you can do back, side, and um, front carries with this. I don't really like back carries um, with ring slings or pouches. It is possible. I wouldn't recommend it for someone who's not an advanced baby wearer, who hasn't been baby wearing for a while and knows exactly how it should fit. Um, this is probably the easiest, I think. I love ring slings for newborns. Um, the, really, the recommendation now is that newborns have their legs out. Um, you can still obviously have their legs in, um, but a lot of the baby wearing schools in BWI recommend that the legs be out with a newborn, which is great. I, I personally like it legs out. This is the Exa Meyer wrap. Meyer wraps actually done something <laughs> really amazing. We just announced it yesterday or the day before. Uh, they are <coughs> they they give five dollars from every single one of the the Meyer wrap carriers that are done for MommyCon into a fund that helps send moms to MommyCon that can't afford it. And they purchased the remaining 15 tickets we had available for Portland to give to families that couldn't afford to go. And they've already committed another 70 tickets for the remaining cities this year. <laughs> We're really stoked because like the, you know, for us, we want as many people as possible to be able to come to the event. And it's sad for us to hear like a mom can't afford, whether it's a $20 ticket or the $50 ticket or so. We're really happy that they're doing that. We are. <laughs> so we're going to move on to SSCs. We have lots of different SSCs yeah. to go over. What does SSC stand for? Soft structured carrier. The SSC is really what men like mostly. Um, there's no wrapping. There's no real learning curve. So men tend to really like the SSC because they don't have to do anything but snap some buckles. Um, my husband, I've been wearing for nine years, and an SSC is the only thing that I can get him to wear. So basically, this is the Ergo. This is the Ergo original. Um, Ergo makes about a bajillion and one different types of carriers. Um, I don't even think I can go over all of them because I don't remember all of them. There's the original, they have organic, they have the performance, which is um, specifically designed with men in mind. They have a taller body, they have a different structure in the um, the straps so that they fit men better. Um, men and tend to not always fit that great in some of the other ergos, but they fit really well in the performance. Larger men with broader shoulders. So they have this, and then they have the Stone Go, which is really great. It just stuffs into a pouch, and I um, actually use it as a water carrier. It's not meant as a water carrier, but the fabric is so thin that it dries within five about an hour or so after being out, you just wring it out real quick and it's perfect for a water carrier. And then they have um, the designer ones and Christy Turlington ones and all kinds of different carriers. Um, it's basically just a standard design. It's got the waist. This is designed to give the carrier, the person an ergonomic fit. It takes the pressure off of the shoulders and distributes it evenly throughout the entire body. Basically, this is a front carry. You can do front, side, and hip. So one thing about the Ergo, which you can kind of see, especially with like a smaller baby or for people like me with like short arms, I have a hard time reaching the chest clip. You eventually kind of get used to it. Oh, you're yeah. 
But if you were going to, let's say, do a hip carry with an ergo, it's, or a back carry, I'll go straight into one, you can just scoot your baby over like this. And when you actually have a baby that has weight, you always want to make sure you have one hand on baby. And then it goes over. And you just wear it backpack style. And then you can use the chest clip again. On if you want, some people don't like to wear sometimes. the chest clip. It just depends. Yeah. It can be um, a lot of pressure sometimes on nursing mom's boots. Yeah. And there's a pocket, and this, the hood can be stowed in there. It's also handy to put like your cell phone. I'm constantly finding that like if I where do I put my phone if I don't want to carry my diaper bag? There's also accessories, bags, and, and lots yeah. of other stuff that you can get with the Ergo. Very much. And the great thing about Ergos is that they are available, you know, in both boutiques. Yeah, they have, Bye Bye Baby has them. Um, I think Baby's RS carries them now. Target. Target, I mean, you can get them pretty much anywhere, which is really great for people who want um, a readily available SSC so they don't want to have to go to some of the specialty makers. Yeah. And here's the other pocket, which is slightly larger, so you can even put diapers and like wipes in. And they, they, they can't be used with newborns. They do come with a newborn insert. Um, we don't have the newborn it's, insert, but it's very It's very similar to the Beckos. Um, it's a different design. It doesn't, it's more enclosed. Um, but it's basically the same thing. And it has this little shelf that baby sits on so that baby sits up here properly. Because if they were in that carrier, they would be all scrunched down and it would be way above their head. So this brings baby up so that they're higher up so that you, you you know, they're sort of kissable and close and kissable. So then we're going to go into the Becco SSCs. Becco has two different um, kinds of SSCs. There's the Gemini, which uh, Eggs is putting on right now. This carrier can go from an infant all the way to toddler. It can also um, do a front forward facing carry, so baby's facing out. So when the baby is really small, like a newborn, this is like the only carrier you can use SSC-wise that'll fit them from the get-go without having to worry about an insert, so you which is really great. You snap down this body, and as you can see right here, how large it is when it's snapped out. And when it's snapped in, you can see how small this base becomes so that it will fit newborns properly without them being uncomfortable and their legs really super out. Because monkeys, like monkeys newborn size. size. So he would still be in a good ergonomic position with the knees and the M position. So. Yeah. And as you can see, the back row does go really big. So if you are fatigued, um, you can wear it as well as your partner if they are larger. So like for instance, I'm 5'4", and my husband's 6'4", and we both can wear the same carrier, which is a really neat feature. It has this great little, I wouldn't really call this a sleep hood, but it's for if baby falls asleep so their head's not all like, uh, wiggling around when they're sleeping. Yep. Um, it does have a fully padded body, which is different than a lot of SSCs. Yes. Um, and the other thing with it that's I think is really good for New safety. baby wearers is that these are the only buckles that we've come across mm -hmm, that, that have this little safety feature. So if you go like this, it doesn't come undone. You have to push. You have to press in, in and then like that. And those are the buckles on the hip as well. And they do cinch down really small. So like for instance, the back carry. If let's say you were having trouble with back carries, you can wear it all the way on. If baby, let's just imagine that baby was in the full seated position and was at least five months old. And Beckos are great for um, moms who are more petite. As you can see, X is super, super, super tiny and she still has a good fit that she can tighten down here that she doesn't need to, but if she needed to and she was someone who was smaller than Exa, yeah. you could definitely tighten down all the way. Yeah. And we'll point out on some of the carriers, like for instance, uh, this waist here, I like to wear it on my natural waist. We're all women, right? Um, <laughs> so it will go down to 24 inch. Some of the other carriers will go up, so that's kind of nice. It's really your personal preference how you wear it. I personally like to wear them on my natural waist. Exa tends to prefer them on her actual hips. So it's really personal preference for you. For you, there's no wrong way to do it, like where to wear it. It's really how you feel wearing it. So then here's the other Becco. This is the brand new Becco. This is called the Becco Soleil. It has replaced the Becco Butterfly. It's a really great carrier for toddlers. 
Um, for people who have found that other SSCs don't aren't wide enough at the base for their for their older babies, Becco has designed this with that in mind. The base is wider, the body is taller, um, but you can also use it with the newborn. So you do have that option with the insert here. We'll put in a monkey. monkey. Monkey likes to be safe and secure. So then, as you can see, monkey sits on this little pad here, and then monkey goes in there. And as you can see, it brings the baby up higher. And with a taller body, it's especially important because the Becco, the Sole, really does have a really tall body compared to all the other SSCs. Yeah. It also has a ton of different accessory packs you can buy. There's hoods, different hoods, um, pouches, there's purses, there's a carry-all bag. It also has an adjustable system here that cinches the strap so you get an even closer feel to baby. Uh, it doesn't come like with a hood standard, uh, but I know right now they are including that, and they're interchangeable with snaps. And this bag is actually gigantic. It doesn't look like it's that big, but it fits a lot, and it actually snaps on here. And then it has these other snaps here that snap to the body. And there's your bag. You can have. It can fit a couple diapers, some wipes, a bottle, um, pacifiers. It can fit a pouch sling if you want to put a pouch sling in there. Uh, it, it's really, it's got a lot of room in there. And then there's two other things to point out with this carrier. You can, in the same with the back of a Gemini, you can cross the straps in back. So for me, who does not like chest clips and trying to get them, you can just cross the straps. And these were actually designed um, to be crossed in the back. Some of them are, like the, um, the Ergo Performance would be a really difficult carry to cross in the back because of the way the straps are designed. So these are actually designed with that in mind so that you can cross it comfortably. Some of them actually cut into your neck kind of. And it's not the most comfortable. And it has legs out padding. Um, I will note, if you see here, this is being worn on my hips. It's on the smallest setting. So if you have a smaller than 28 inch waist, um, which is about a size medium, this might not be the carrier for you. Um, but with that being said, it goes up to 70 inches, which is like a size like 60. Like so men. it's great it's for like plus size moms. Yeah. And the Ergo actually does have a um, extender, a belt extender for those mamas who wouldn't be able to fit in the normal strap size. Yeah. This can also be used with a newborn. Um, the bottom does cinch. The bottom does cinch. It doesn't cinch down as much as the Becco. Um, so for really tiny babies, it probably isn't going to fit them all that well. Um, but for the average, I mean, I have a big kids, so my kids are like eight pounds when they're born, so they would fit fine. But for some of the little, maybe six pound, um, five pound babies, it, it might not go down far enough. Um, you would remove it from both sides. So our our director, like Lainey, actually tried it with her daughter, Penny, and, it, and her daughter, Penny, was very tiny, and it, it didn't um, fit her quite right. It does now, after a couple weeks that she had it, but in the very beginning, it, it didn't cinch down enough for her. And I think to note, too, if you're using a carrier between two kids, this one you do, it, it's a more time-consuming switch than, let's say, the Gemini, where you just snap it. Like, these you have to take on and off each time. But it is a very, very supportive carrier, and the fabric is really nice. Yeah, the fabric is soft. Really soft. And it also has a uh, lumbar support. So as baby grows bigger, uh, it gives mom and four dad coverage. It also has the sleep hood here. It's more like a... I wouldn't necessarily call this a hood, yeah. but it's a sleep. Oh, there's a whole other thing. Oh, is there a whole Yeah, there's a neck support as well as a hood. The neck support, yeah. So as I see it, a lot of the times it can be overwhelming because you're just going to think, oh, they're all the same, but they each do have unique features and every body type is different. So if you are like considering getting a new SSC or want to try any of them, feel free to try all of them on because they all are very, very different. Type of body type. We do have a bunch of different things of here. There isn't a pocket on this carrier, uh, but they do have a lot of accessories and they have clips so you can attach toys, you can attach um, a phone case, so. different colors, and 
lots of different. It can also do the um, for the facing out, like the, the Gemini. All right. So Anya baby. So here's the Anya baby. I actually really like the Anya baby because I think it's really, really, really cool. Um, not only is it a carrier, but it turns into a booster seat for your child. If you go to a restaurant, you don't have anywhere to put them. This actually can be used to secure your baby so that they don't have to be in and out. There's like a million pockets on this, which is a really cool feature okay. because you can store everything in it. So similar to um, the Ergo that has the front pocket that you can put diapers in, so does the Anya baby. But this is the only carrier that we found so far that has this really great feature. Of I think this is really cool. We're going to do it on this little chair, even though it's not going to fit that great on the little chair. But as you can see, here's the, where the baby would sit. On a normal chair, I mean, obviously, a, another chair is going to be bigger. So but you snap the back, you snap the bottom, lumbar support or the the ergonomic support um, belt and then it's straps and front hip back front hip and back um, under on the underside uh, this one does have kind of an airflow fabric which is really nice for you know hot weather mm -hmm. um, it's great for it's a really great dad carrier um, and kind of the answers we've got from people is dad really loves it um, and a lot of moms do too so if you need a carrier that will serve a lot of purposes. I also like that it's boring because <laughs> I love orange. So this is going to be our last SSC that we're showing. And the reason why we're saving it for last is because it's kind of a hybrid. It way. is kind of a hybrid. This is the new Moby Go. Um, it's their first attempt at an SSC to move some to move outside of the realm of stretchy wraps. Oh, yes. And um, it's actually a really great carrier. The unfortunate thing is you cannot do a back carry with it. We have done a back carry with it, but it's not something you're going to do on your own because you actually physically have to cross the straps in front and click them in um, because the straps literally, the way that they're designed, there's no way, even with a larger woman, I don't think that they would tighten down enough yeah. without crossing them in the front. So it, it, it's marketed as a forward facing or a forward <laughs> Uh, front, uh, front carry only carrier. Here, here's Monkey. Here's Monkey. Atticus <laughs> loves being worn except for when, you know, there's cars. And, a lot of, and a lot of people have asked about the support because there is um, no padding at all on the yeah. straps. It's actually really supportive because it cups the shoulder and gives a really nice fit even though there is no padding. So this is what you would have unless you were quite a bit larger if you weren't crossing them. So there's a lot of extra fabric. But if you do cross them, it's really supportive as a carrier. It's really comfortable. I actually really like it. I really wish that they would have made it do back carries because it really is a very comfortable carrier. It just unfortunately doesn't. And they actually, um, when we did the back carry, we did it at ABC when they yeah. when they showed this and they helped us do it and they were like, we don't really recommend this. And we were like, well, we're going to try it anyways. Yeah. So I personally wear it in a back carry because I'm used to wrapping. And she actually really likes to have things crossed on her chest. I personally don't. I think it looks does. cute, but I also have, you know, pretty small boobs. So it's like personal oh. preference thing. So it would just cross like this. The difficult thing is getting it snapped 
once you're on your back and crossing it because you really, I mean, you have to reach. You really have to reach. So it can be a little bit of a difficult thing to do with the back carry. We don't recommend back carry for Moby Go. <laughs> Even though they can't be done, don't do them. So we're going to go back into FSC yeah. for a minute. So this is the Catbird Baby Piccolo. We actually have the lovely maker oh, Beth yes, right here. Right here. So, she can so if you have any questions, questions about the Piccolo, Beth is here to answer any questions. Um, this is the actually the only SSC that doesn't have a standard waist belt, but you can buy one that adds to it. I actually really like it without the, the waist support, the um, ergonomic thing, pad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Without the padding. I personally prefer it without it. I, I don't really like having it with this, but it's all personal preference. Some people, yeah. Some people, some style is the correct term. Yeah. yeah. Personal preference, really, you know, if, if you like having the extra support with the band, I, as I said, I don't like having the band. I just like without the band. Baby goes in. Baby goes in. So, and this also supports a wide range of size of parents. Mm -hmm. So, it's inches way further down than what I even have it at. And um, before I weaned out in case, I was a little thinner. And one of my biggest things was carriers were just big. So, this is a really great option. Yeah, this is a really great option for really petite mamas. Because yeah. it just, it really tightens down a lot compared to the other ones. Like, really goes down really yeah. tiny. I, I, mean, I mean, I have a lot of you extra can see room. And baby's tiny. Super tiny. So. Lots of different fabrics. We love Catbird. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go now into a... Okay, so this is the regular traditional Maytai. Um, basic design. It's got waist straps and it's got shoulder straps and it's super easy to use. You just tie it on. You can tie it on either the way that Exa has it on or you can tie it on apron style where it just hangs down. So baby goes in. This is the front carry. You can do front, side, or back. Baby goes in. They do have a little padding on baby hawk. May ties, not all of them do. Here also makes the may tie. You're going to cross the straps in the back, go under baby's butt, and tie. It's super comfortable, really great for quick in and outs. It doesn't have that big of a learning curve, so for people who kind of want to wrap but don't really want to wrap, these are really great options. There are also wrap conversion may ties, which are the basic same design, only they're made with wraps. So that's really for the people who want to wrap but don't really want to wrap because you get the comfort of the wraps, but you don't have to know how to wrap, which can have quite a learning curve with it. And we do have a wrap conversion may tie by Obi Mama if you do want to try it on just to kind of see like and um, you can cross the straps but most people will prefer going you can tie to that which gives you a little more support for people who have bigger babies which is you go up and up and tie making me show to that's that it. End. that's a nice strap <laughs> don't do that <laughs> The Tibetan's really great. You can actually do it um, not just with a, a May Thai, you can do it with um, wraps and stuff too. Okay, this one has a lot of extra stuff. So. so you cross it, it gives you, um, it basically creates a chest belt, which takes some of the support off of the waist and the shoulders and, and puts a little bit of, on, of it onto your chest so that you get a better fit for older babies who might be heavier. Also not something everyone likes, especially for nursing moms who might find that that kind of pressure is not comfortable for them. May ties are really great. I, I really like May ties. I prefer wrap conversion May ties myself, but they're all really great. Tons of different makers, a bajillion different kinds. Um, Catbird also makes May ties, so if you have any questions for that. The stretchy wrap, which is the Moby, there's a bunch of different makers. Um, Has everyone kind of tried a Moby before or know what it is? Yeah. So It's this big, long piece of fabric. Um, you can actually make them yourself, too, if you want. Uh, five yards of jersey cotton, cut in half, long ways, and you've got two wraps. They're really great um, for newborns. They generally um, aren't going to work that great for people, for babies who are over 15 pounds. Um, they tend to bag and sag. 
So the longer you wear them, the farther down they get, and then you have to retie. So with bigger babies, you're gonna be retying all the time, and it's kind of annoying. So if you also can, you cannot do back carries with this. So if you're looking for a carrier that you're gonna be able to use for a long time, and you are wanting to wrap, the stretchy wrap is probably not the best option. You're gonna to want to go with the woven wrap. Um, so you can do both back carries and hip carries and front carries and all different kinds. And that, that being said, too, you know, there are a lot of moms that do love their movies or other stretch wraps and that are able to use them well into the first and second year. But it, you have to be like a really good wrapper to be able to do it because there is that learning curve. And when the fabric stretches, unless you have it like super hot right off the bat, it's going to do the thing. It's like, the like a t-shirt, you know, yeah. or jeans. When you wear jeans and you put them on right out of the dryer and they're super nice and tight, then you, you know, walk around and then you're like pulling them up. That's how, that's basically what it is. It just stretches out and you have to retie it and it has to get more to get acclimated. So th this is a woven wrap. This is a Dulcino. Um, there's a bunch of different makers. I'm personally a wrapper. I love wrapping. It's pretty much all I do. Um, you can do a hundred thousand billion different kinds of carries with the woven. Some of them haven't even been made up yet. So there's pretty much anything you can do with the woven wrap. Front, hip, side, back, nursing carries. Um, you can use it as a hammock for your kids under the table. You can use it as a leash. I mean, <laughs> you can, um, we're actually in our own home, we're um, putting studs in the ceilings and we're gonna, or the hooky things, and we're gonna hang wraps from them so adults can see them as swings. Um, which is, I mean, my kids are older, so my, my youngest is gonna be three, so we're kind of on the tail end of baby wearing, so now we're gonna use them for home decoration. <laughs> so, and with the baby, it's a lot better than Monkey. Monkey Bear is a little tiny, so yeah, the fabric can't really get taut around Hopefully Atticus will let me actually wrap him properly. Um, where he is. Yeah, wherever he is. But essentially, Alyssa can kind of show, is you want you want to make sure rail. That, you want to make sure that the top rail is nice and tight so that baby is Again, you want them against you, their, their shoulders to be um, flush against your body so that they're not hanging out like that. Um, this is basically a kangaroo carry. <laughs> she didn't flip the shoulder as much as she should, but this is getting there. basically what a basic front carry, it's super easy to do. You can do it, with, I mean, I do it with my kangaroo, so yeah. it's, it's still comfortable even with older babies. And you can use a um, stretch wrap. You can use a stretch wrap to do most front carries um, that you're going to do with a woven wrap. You can do with a stretchy wrap. You can make it there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so baby would be like us. Wrapping, it's a, it's a bit of an art. Yeah. It's, really fun. Wrapping is an art. Um, it does have a really big learning curve. So some people will be able to pick up a wrap and do it within five minutes. And some people will take months to figure out how to do one carry. Um, it's just really dependent on you. Um, it took me forever to learn how to back carry because I was like all left arms and um, finally I figured it out but it's one of those things like you'll be doing it and you'll go, oh, I hate this, I'm never going to be a rapper and then one day it just clicks and you're like, oh my god, I just did this and it was so easy and from then on it's like riding the bike, you never forget how to do it. Very true. Yeah. And we can show you with your babies all the different carries possible. We have a few with us today. Um, one of you is going to go home with one of these. Um, awesome. uh, Yoshi is really great because they're um, pretty affordable. Like a lot they of are. people are like, oh, I can't wrap. It's really expensive. Um, and you can get these um, a little easier than some of the other brands like Nation, Natty Baby and Diddy Most um, that are all around like 180 to 200. And um, Yoshi is around like 150 ish. Yeah. They're pretty reasonably priced. Um, woven wrap. They, they do get kind of expensive depending on who you're buying, what textile you're buying, um, if it's a specific type of um, It really just depends. Um, you really have to look at it. There's not really any benefits to the different makers. Um, they all just have different colors and um, styles and supports and um, some of them have pretty little animals and like here, uh, they animals or this one's uh, birds, stripes. I mean, anything you could possibly think of. There's probably a wrap with it on there. So if you're looking for something specific, you can probably find it. Yeah. You want to wrap with horses? I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. And you can ask us too. Yeah. Is there a difference with like the, the material type? 
There is, um, as you can see here, you can feel these. One is a silk, one is and, silk and then and one is linen. 50 billion different kinds of silk. Um, I mean, there's regular <laughs> silk and Ramy silk and Tussauds silk and bajillions. So, I mean, there's something for everybody out there. I'm personally, I love silk, so I buy mostly silk and um, wool, but that's any personal preference for people. So, were there any other questions? Really? Wow, we got some experience baby work today. Yeah. All right, well, thank you um, again for coming. We're then going to go on to our second portion of it. So, what I really like is anyone that has a baby over a year to come up first, and then we're kind of going to go down the line that way. I just want to make sure that anyone that has a larger baby gets a care that they actually can use because not all of these are going to last you know, beyond two, three years. So if you want to have any crazy questions, questions, you can ask me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Alyssa's our CPS team, which is uh, child passenger safety technician. She is a car seat guru. She knows every single thing about every single seat. She's amazing, like so well respected, and we're so glad that she's So if you need car seat. Yeah, if you need your car seat checked, she's your girl. And don't be afraid to ask her.